The Lord is good. All the time. All the time. The Lord is good. You know that the Lord is good. Oh, yes. And you are sure it's all the time. Oh, yes. <laughs> the voices say, uh, or oh, that answer is not as loud as the other one. Because there is something that you see from acquired theoretical knowledge and practical knowledge. So I say the Lord is good. All the time. All the time. The Lord is good. You are welcome to the year 2023. Can you say congratulations to somebody? The fact that me and you, we are here in 2023, is a miracle. It's truly a miracle. It's the grace of God and the blessings of God. See, there was a tragic story that happened towards the end of last year in December. And the thing was so much on social media. But what so shocked me so much is I knew the person. And in fact, during the year, when I was looking at her uh, status and her postings, I was saying in my heart, this lady is making it all. I mean, things are different. The lines are falling on her in pleasant places. But December, one drunk policeman shot her dead. Did you hear that story? I mean, I've known her some years. I know how she was struggling, hustling really hard though, for herself and her family. How she was really the strength of the family because the husband was discouraged. I think it was when he lost his bank job. But now, look at her this year. When you look at her picture that they are pasting, that's not really where she was coming from. She has small children. But just suddenly, bam, one drunk policeman towards the end of the year. I want you to stand up and help me sing this my popular song. I will sing it, it's a Yoruba song because probably I'm a Yoruba man and you know my native song always really touched my heart. So when you sing with me, and like the day of Pentecost, every one of us we are going to worship God in our own language. Whether English is your language, yet it be. Whether it is robo, use that robo to worship God. But for now, let's take this song with me. He says that he's my confidence, the I am that I am. So help me worship him. Eba mi goru kore. E mini tinje. O loru kola. E mini mashepe. Eba mi yoru kore. E mini tinje. thank God, to worship God that you are here today you may be looking at how much you have in your pocket or in your account you may be looking at so many things in your life but that you are here today and you have life and there is still hope for you to attain and accomplish that thing that a drunk policeman has not caught your testimony short
that the King of Kings has kept you. And that somebody's mistake has not been the consequence to end you. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Son. Thank you, Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name we pray. Father, thank you that you have brought us into this new year. Thank you because you have set us at the beginning. Yes, Father, we are at the entry point of this year. And today, like the Israelites, you are saying to us to get ready and take possession of this year. Hallelujah. We thank you because you have brought us thus far. We thank you because you will see us through once again. And our testimony shall be greater and better than ever before in the name of Jesus. Amen. Lord, it is your truth that says faith comes from hearing. And hearing from the word of God. Father, we pray from the word of God. Let there be hearing for everyone here today in the name of Jesus. Amen. Let there be faith for everyone here today in the name of Jesus. Amen. And with that faith come power of victory and of success that brings peace and joy now in this life and forevermore in your kingdom in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. I pray for myself that as I speak, let the meditations of my heart and the words of my mouth come from your throne in heaven in the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, everlasting Thank Father. You, in Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. Shall we be seated, blessed? You know, as I looked forward to this passage and to this message, I struggled with two things. To tell the people what they want to hear, or to tell them what God wants them to hear. That probably usually is the strongest struggle and challenge of men of God. Because you can look at the face of the people and you are still human. But today, truly, I've been fasting and I'm still fasting that I may have the courage and faith and boldness to tell you what God wants you to hear I pray that you will accept it you will believe it and you will receive victorious power and blessing through it in Jesus name Amen my message today is titled be strong and we have read Joshua chapter 1 verse 1 to 18 our key verse is in verse 6 can we read verse 6 together church we'll be reading a lot today verse 6 please it's strong and courageous because we need this Praise the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. Be strong and courageous because you will lead these people to inherit the land I swore to their forefathers to give them. At a glance, what does this mean? I mean, I want to go into 2023. What can I get for myself? Why are you telling me about others? Bible scholars commonly say that the book of Joshua is the manual for waging the Lord's battle. This book is named after 
that great Israelite shepherd and general, Joshua, who led the Lord's army into battles and victories. There are many books and social media posts on how to be victorious and successful. Do they work? Well, it's for you to decide. But when you look closely at successes they talk about in this way, they contain no peace or life in it. If not, Elon Musk should be resting, not struggling over Twitter. Or even Atiku or Tinumbu or Obi will be relaxing with their wealth. When we look to the success that the society and the times of today paint to us and offer us, there's really no peace or life in it. It's consistent struggle. Struggle to get to the top and struggle to do what? To stay at the top. However, as children of God, we have chosen wisely because true success and peace comes from God and is found in His Word. In the book of Joshua, we can learn how to fight the Lord's battle. I say the Lord's battle because your life and my life is the Lord's battle. Did I hear amen? Amen. You don't understand me. For that battle, he sent his one and only son into this world to be born in the manger, to live the life of the son of a poor carpenter's son, to be spat on, to be beaten, to be nailed to the cross because our life and our salvation is the Lord's battle. And so Jesus fought this battle even to the point of death on the cross that we may have peace that passes all understanding, that we may have life and life eternally. Your life, my life, is the Lord's battle in Jesus' name. Amen. Stop fighting and trust in the Lord who is the more than conqueror that gives you the victory. Like I said, I don't know what you want to hear, but please accept what the Lord is saying to you. The year 2023 is a year of victories spiritually and humanly. To attain and remain in these victories from God, we must follow God's principles. The word of God to Joshua in these verses teaches us the importance of the situation of the heart and the result of spiritual confidence and determination. Let us acquire from them how we can build up the morale and the spirit of a brave and indomitable people of the Lord God Almighty. Please, church, can you read verse 1 and 2? Verses 1 and 2. After the death of Moses, the servant of the Lord, the Lord said to Joshua, son of Nun, Moses said, Moses is servant is dead. Now then you and all these people, get ready to cross the Jordan River into the land I am about to give to them, to the Israelites. 
It is very interesting to note that the book of Joshua begins with a description of the title of Joshua. But surprisingly, it did not introduce Joshua as general, conqueror. Rather, the Bible described him with a humble title, Moses' aid. So Joshua was a servant's aid or assistant. Joshua served as an assistant servant, a servant to a servant. Hallelujah. And today, many people want to hurriedly name their son who? Joshua. In this verse, the expression Moses' aid suggest to us one of the secrets behind Joshua's great success in leading the flock into the promised land. Secrets of success. Under Moses, Joshua learned everything about humility and spirituality, especially the way to fight the Lord's battle and be victorious. One of the reasons why Jesus' disciples became largely successful was because of their spiritual discipline which they received under Jesus Christ. I mean, he said to them once, Are you so dull? You men of little faith. I mean, some ran away and said, Come, 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 what you are teaching. Your teaching is too hard. The way you even talk is too hard. So they left Jesus. Then Jesus looked at the disciples and said, Are you going to go to? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When these disciples refused to go and had a humble and learning mind, Jesus said, to them the holy spirit will teach and remind you of all things also proverbs chapter 27 verse 18 it says he who tends a fig tree will eat its fruit and he who looks after his master will be honored is the wisdom of the wise he worked hard, I mean Joshua, in service of Moses, serving Moses for 40 long years. Shepard, wrong word, our general overseer, in one of his discussions, said he served Dr. Samuel Lee as his assistant for 18 years. I can also remember I started serving Shepherd Peter as his assistant from the year 1998. You can calculate the number of years. But what did God say to him at this time? He said, Get ready to cross the Jordan River. Challenging Joshua and all the Israelites to face a challenging task. God was ready again to bless them and to give them that promise and blessing. But the challenge he needs is to go out into the field face the enemies fight the battle and end the victory for the lord inch by inch and celebrate with god the victories get ready to take possession and be victorious in the year 2023 Amen. to fight the lord's battle to face the enemy and take over the year 
day by day celebrating the victories with God in Jesus' name. Amen. Now, did I tell you that you will not have to worry? Praise God. Did I tell you that as I'm speaking, all the money you need, you will receive the alert right now? But what I am telling you is what God has told Joshua and the people of Israel and they're experiencing today that they will be victorious. Amen. You will be victorious. Amen. This year, you will only celebrate victories in Jesus' name. Amen. There is no great man unless the man has conquered great things. There is no victory Unless you have won a battle. There is no success. Unless you have overcome a challenge. Notice. That the Lord God puts the Israelites through four grounds. He put them through the slave ground. Training ground. Testing ground. And now the final one, the victory ground, which is a promised, a promised land. The life in Egypt was their slave ground. The life in the desert, a training ground. And the life they are facing right now at the edge of the promised land is their testing ground. The ground where they can test what they have learned thus far as a kingdom of priests and a holy nation. Then they can enter the land as God's victorious people. Their land of victories. Conquering giants. And eating the goodness of the land. This year, you will conquer every giant. Amen. And you will eat the goodness of this land in Jesus' name. Amen. Hear me. When some people look at trash, it's hopeless and useless to them. When some people look at that same trash, it becomes money. Praise God. Because as you throw away your trash, some people make millions from it. That is why you have PSP. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. You are throwing away trash. Oh, this thing is, is bad. Oh, smelly. But that smell and that trash that you throw away, what is it for some people? Millions of naira. Because what is trash to you is what God has shown them as a resource through which for them to make millions. We look at the year 2023 and we think about Nigeria economically, politically, and security-wise. And so, the easiest trend is to jack back. Brethren, I stand not against you or your desire if you want to. May the will of God be done in your life in Jesus' name. Amen. However, Abraham ran away from the promised land many times because there was famine. On one occasion, his beautiful wife was taken from him by the king of the land he ran to. So, every time he was drinking the wine of that house and that land, he was thinking what was happening to his wife. I guess if you are married, you will understand that that wine will taste bitter. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 
I recently read on social media the comments of Alaji Dantata. He is the uncle of Dangote. He is one of the silent billionaires in Nigeria. Probably Richard and Dangote himself. However, he made a comment that got me thinking. He said, I am not enjoying life anymore. I'm only waiting for my time. I want us to read verse 3. Can we read verse 3? I will give you every place set of food, as I promised Moses. I want you to picture the year 2023. And I want you to recite that verse again. One, two, go. Look at my feet. I have stepped my feet in the year 2023. And the Lord has given it to me in the name of Jesus Christ. I don't know whether you are looking at that foot. This is what the Lord God has said. And the word of God is yea and amen. I say I look at my feet. I have set my feet into the year 2023. And the Lord has given this year unto me. In the name of Jesus Christ. I don't care what other people say. I don't care what other people say. Please, pardon me and allow me to tell you today and take your time. Many years ago before I got married, people said, how torch? How torch ye? They are setting you up. It's set up. Ah, they control your life. They do this. I know some people who know me are still here. My word was very clear. Yes, me, I'm very clear. I said, I don't know what has happened to other people. And I don't know what other people's case is. But as for me, do you understand? It will be for me a blessing. Because it is God that has called me. I don't know what happened to others. It does not know my business. That's them. For them it may be a setup. For them it can be an imprisonment. It is their choice and their belief. Isn't it? Me. I will marry by that faith house church. And it will be a blessing. So when they tell you this year, oh, the politicians, they are gathering guns somewhere. It is for them. The politician that gather gun is him and his family that will be celebrating guns. It has nothing to do with us in Jesus' name. Amen. So when they say there is a putting down, you will tell them there is what? There is a lifting up. When they say there is insecurity, you will tell them that this nation is secured. In who? In God. When they say that the economy is hard, you will tell them that for me, it is easy. In the name of Jesus. Amen. I was talking to Shepard Ben. I was talking about something that country is somehow uh, there's no money this this period uh, maybe even people are not buying cars then he said shepherd ah maybe i know somebody that is selling cars people are still buying cars praise god Hallelujah. praise the lord Hallelujah. we are being praying to buy center for many years for a middle lag chapter. Praise God. Abi? We struggle. We pray. Isn't it? The time that the economy is harsh. 
that as people say, Abi. In fact, that time that dollar was now skyrocketing. Praise God. That is when what? We bought the center. Can you read verse 3 again? I will give you every place where you set your foot as I promised Moses. What does the expression you set your foot tell us about the way to claim the promises the Lord God gives to his children? Two words explains the way. Faith and obedience. We need to believe in the promises of God. And then we need to take action by practically going out and making disciples one by one. Taking over campuses for Jesus. Taking over Nigeria for Jesus. We do not go for evangelism. We do not have time for God to pray, to study the word of God, or even to go out for fishing because we are afraid. We have become cowards because of the practical realities of life. We claim to be strong men and women, but we are cowards because of the fear for our lives. It is really shameful for people who have been given the power and the authority of the Almighty God. That wherever we step our feet, He will give to us. Satan is cheating Christians because he has taught us or deceived us to be afraid. We pray, but we are afraid. And James says, when a man prays and he does not believe, such men cannot receive. We pray for God to bless and prosper us, but we cannot trust him with our job. We cannot trust him with our business. We believe that we must do it instead of trust him. However, Matthew chapter 11 verse 12 says, From the days of John the Baptist until now, the kingdom of heaven has been forceful and advancing. And forceful men lay hold of it. Somebody said to Jesus, Jarius, in Mark chapter 9, verse 23, if you can, Jesus looked at him and said, if you can, everything is possible for him who believes. Meaning, in this new year, 2023, God will give us everything we set out to achieve in his name. Amen. Can we read verse 4? Verse 4, please. Your territory will extend from the desert to Lebanon and from the great river all the time the sea. Hallelujah. This is the part that we like. God give us everything. And look at how God set out the territories. However, who occupied these territories? And why do you think the Lord God promised to give the land to the Israelites? When we look at the world and society today, there are politicians who want everything for themselves. There are cultists who want to continuously do human sacrifice 
in order to be successful. So that the business that you want, a cultist and a witch and wizard wants it also. The job that you want, Abby, the devil wants it also. But why still did God say to the Israelites, I will give you that land. And all that territory will belong to you. Even though there are politicians who still want to hold Nigerian money. He said that he will still bless you. Hallelujah. Why? Does God send us to the campus to win souls among youths? Already, they are worshipping the video and they are worshipping the God of money. I mean, a 16 year old boy wants to buy a Lamborghini, his demon possession. Yes. If you are at that youth, your ambition is to drive Lamborghini. It's not normal law. It's a spirit. Because money cannot be mastered. The Bible says it wants to what? Master. You cannot serve two masters. God and money. So many as God wants to be worshipped and dominates your life and be sovereign over your life. The same thing with money. He's a sovereign ruler. Who is he? He's a sovereign ruler. And the Bible places him as a God beside God. So you are joking if you think that you want to control money. Money is not in your level. And you are deceiving yourself if you think you are controlling money. It is put beside God. You cannot serve two. And who is the two masters that are being compared? God and money. No human being. Not even devil. Devil is small. Praise the Lord. This land was already occupied. So why was God clearing it? The Amalekites and the seven Canaanite nations were there. But notice that the Amalekites were the descendants of Esau. Genesis chapter 36 verse 12. Esau represents materialism for he sold the birthright for a bowl of lentil soup. The seven Canaanite nations represent the root of idolatry. The Lord God wanted to root out idolatrous worship and establish the worship of God. God tells you right now what you need to root out and take your promised land and all your blessings. I believe you got the message. God has decided to bless you this year. This indicates that the purpose of the Lord's battle, of this battle, is to root out the rule of flesh, idolatry, plus material wickedness and build up the rule of God and his word in the hearts of men in your heart and in the heart of our campus students in Jesus name Amen. let us read verse 5 to 9 quickly
Please. No one will be able to stand against you all the days of your life. I have Moses, so I will be with you. I will never leave you nor forsake you. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Amen.
there are good principles to follow in life and they make sense but maybe in them is a source of our lack of peace Keep this book of the law always on your lips. Means, teach and preach the word. The word of the Lord is on my lips right now. Yes or no? Yes. Am I saying it out because of me? A means of your possessing your land this year 2023 is to pronounce the word of the Lord have you ever thought of it when you go to campus and tell a sheep or one person God loves you and his grace is there and sufficient for you and if that person believe what you have said and they are saved. What do you think has happened? The word of the Lord has come out from you. And with power. And it has accomplished a great miracle. However, you still feel the same. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Do you feel different? I can tell you from experience. You feel the same. I met many times some of my sheep will share testimony but when i was studying bible with shepherd abraham and that and this and that and that okay i taught the word of god right and the word of god has power true i still feel what the same but the faithfulness of god and the victory of God in our lives comes from our obedience. When you preach the word of God, you will be able to be careful to do everything written in it. Then you will be prosperous and successful. God said, have I not commanded you? Am I not the one that said, don't be afraid? Oh, I will not have time for my studies. I will not have time for my job. I will not have time for my business. Oh, maybe I will lose this. Oh, maybe this will happen. Oh, maybe that will happen. He said in verse 9, have I not commanded you? Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged. For the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. You didn't say amen. amen. In the year 2023, the Lord says to you, Have I not commanded you? Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged. For the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. Amen. He's not taking note of the Canaanites or the Amalekites. Because he's with you, you are victorious in Jesus' name. Amen. You are victorious in Jesus' name. Amen. You are victorious in Jesus' name. Amen. See, tell somebody, the Lord is with me. The Lord is with me. I am victorious. I am victorious. Me, I will not be afraid. Me, because this year, there is no fear for me. I am victorious. I am victorious. Because the Lord is with me. I don't care what they are saying about 2023. But as for me, the Lord is with me. I am victorious. 
in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. See, when they are, I mean, I'm telling you my own testimony, my own confession. When they are calling multi-millionaires in the year 2023, my name will be mentioned. Amen. See, when they are looking for people who are secure, that insecurity will not come near them. They will use me as an example. Because wherever I am, wherever I step my feet, according to the word of God, it is what? It is secure. And because my feet is in the city of Lagos and in the nation of Nigeria, there is what? There is security in the name of Jesus. Amen. What about you? 2023, when you walk, there will be security. Amen. When you stretch your hands for money, it will flow into your hands abundantly in Jesus' name. Amen. Look, that position you want in the office, that job you are doing in the office, and that somebody wants to complain, whether they are Malachites or Canaanites, in that organization, I say because you have stepped your feet today, the Lord will give the land to you in Jesus' name. Amen. Eat the goodness of the land in the name of Jesus. Amen. You see, as you wake up every morning to go to your place of business, and that Canaanite and Amalekite, they go and do their shekere like this, and go outside in the morning. I say, concerning you, you are victorious. Amen. Their shekere will not take away your own, bless your own blessing. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. When they compete with you, they will see the hand of the Lord upon your life in Jesus' name. Amen. Me and the shepherd was sharing. And we talked about the word, God bless you. And some people made an oracle, Balaam and Balak. And they wanted to curse the people that God bless. Then when they did the oracle and make all the sacrifice, then the oracle answered them and said, no one can curse him. That the Lord has blessed. And when they could not understand that statement, the oracle began to recite the blessing for them so that they can understand. Praise the Lord. Amen. The Lord bless you this year in the name of Jesus. Amen. See, when the children of the devil try to work against you this year, the devil will tell them. No one can harm, touch, delay, or disturb the one that the Lord has blessed. Amen. When they refuse to understand, the devil will begin to recite the blessing of God upon your life in the name of Jesus. Amen. Let us read verse 10 to 11. Quickly, please. So Joshua ordered the officers of the people, who were to the camp and the people, get to Joshua every day, three days from now, and brought to Joshua every day, so he might get to the land, and the Lord will go to the people. Because this one is for me. <laughs> Praise God. I say to you, get ready. As we have entered the year 2023, our possession is spiritual growth and fruitfulness in this ministry in Jesus' name. Amen. Say, so get ready. Because as we have entered the year 2023, this year, our possession is security, peace, and success in every area of our lives in Jesus' name. Amen. Get ready to see in this nation, Nigeria, the year 2023, peace and prosperity in the name of Jesus Christ. No matter where that prophet is from, because we are here and the will of God for us is peace and prosperity. When they prophesy negativity, 
the Lord will shame them. And this nation, in this year 2023, it shall be peace and prosperity in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. It shall be security for both old and young. North, south, west, east, central, in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Let us read verse 12 to 18 quickly as we round up the passage. Amen. Amen. Why did Joshua put these tribes on the front line? In front of others. We who God have blessed with faith, grace, materials, we should be our brother's keepers. Look to your right. Who do you see? Can you look to your right? Who do you see? Look to your left. Look in front of you. Look behind you. These are your brothers and your sisters. Romans chapter 15, verse 1 to 3. We who are strong ought to bear with the failings of the weak and not to please ourselves. Each of us should place his neighbor, please his neighbor, for his good to build them up don't please them to allow them to continue to fall down for even christ did not please himself brethren as we go into the new year God has called us as a nation and as a people of God. We must strengthen one another. Lift up the hand of the weak. We must encourage, teach, correct, and rebook that we may all stand firm in this faith of our Lord Jesus Christ. For the key to possessing the victory and this blessing is faith and obedience. Therefore, let us not leave anyone behind in encouragement for faith and encouragement for obedience unto the Lord so that each one may possess the blessings of God for this year in Jesus' name. Amen. He says that he will be with us and he will give us the land and the promise of his treasures. Brethren, once again I say, look to your right, look to your left, look behind you, and look in front of you. Do not leave anybody behind in faith and in obedience to the Lord. May we encourage one another. May we pray for one another. May we serve one another. 
until we as a kingdom of priests and a holy nation become mighty warriors for God, possessing this land, our campus, and the ends of the earth with the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ in Jesus' name. Amen. And may we not lack in any good thing in the name of Jesus. Amen. May we eat the good fruit of the land this year and henceforth forevermore in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Let us read the key verse once again. Verse 6, please. Be strong and courageous, because you will lead these people to inherit the land I swore to their forefathers to give to them. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Father, we have heard your word today. Heavenly Father, my prayer is that you have given hearing to everybody here today. And through that hearing, from your word, they have received faith. And therefore, Lord, we take action of faith as we step into this new year, 2023, in Jesus' name. Amen. I pray, Father, we will not fear what men fear in the name of Jesus. And the evil that men fear will not come near us in Jesus' name. Amen. Oh Lord, you will give us victory. Because this is the Lord's battle. Our life, this nation, and this mission to win souls among campus students. For you is your battle. Lord, we pray that Lord, you will be with us. And go ahead of us. And take care of the rear behind us in this battle and give us the victory in Jesus' name. Amen. I pray that we shall stand firm to the very end in the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, everlasting Father. Amen. Because as they take this home, as they believe it, even from this hour, they will begin to see results in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen.